Man, I love me some Adobe Illustrator, but that monthly fee can be kind of harsh. So what else is out there? Well, we're going to be taking a look at that today in this video. The first app that we're taking a look at is called Affinity Designer. Affinity Designer has come a long way in the last couple years. It started out as a Mac app, but just in the last year, it's also released a full-blown Windows version. Many other apps on this list replicate the core features of Illustrator, but Affinity goes farther. First, the app is broken into what it is calling personas. There's a draw persona, which which is most like Adobe Illustrator with all your vector tools, and there are two other personas as well. There's a pixel persona with a fully featured, like, traditional painting app. It lets you leave your vector workflow and use brushes and erasers and selection tools, basically painting with pixels. Also called raster graphics, if you want to get all technical. There's also an export persona for chopping up images and parts of your designs. This pertains more to the interface designers who like to use this app more than the illustrators, but if you are a UI designer, designer, these export options are fantastic. In my illustration workflow, I usually sketch in Adobe Photoshop, move over to Adobe Illustrator, block out the colors there, then move back to Adobe Photoshop to do a lot of my color finishing and textures and things like that. What's nice about Affinity Designer is you could do all of that here in one app. Affinity Designer has also been growing by leaps and bounds, so if you're just getting started in vector apps, I would take a look at Affinity Designer because there are a lot of resources and tutorials already out there. <laughs> Why, yes, Zom we too are working on our own Affinity Designer course. That won't be out until later this year, but if you want to sign up for updates on that, check out the description below. Also, I really have to contain my excitement here. So excited! The folks over at Affinity are working on an iPad version of this app. Play it cool, Brad. Play it cool. There are vector apps available for the iPad, but I'm not really a fan, and it seems like Adobe has more or less abandoned the iPad when it comes to, like, the pro-level apps. Next up is CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW has been around for a while, but surprisingly enough, this is the first time I've ever really used it. From a feature standpoint, it's really good. Out of all the apps here, it probably comes closest to replacing Illustrator on a feature-by-feature -feature basis. But if I'm being honest, the interface feels a little dated. Actually, it feels a lot dated, especially next to Illustrator and Affinity Designer. Now that's not gonna stop me from rocking out some killer logos, but I expect something a little more modern for the price. And about that price, there are two pricing models here. For $200 a year, you can rent it and pay that subscription fee, similar to what you're doing with Adobe software, or you could just outright buy it for $500. I guess it's similar to Adobe's pricing model, but the one thing that they have going for them is that if you don't like to rent your software and you just want to purchase it outright, you have the ability to do that. Lastly, I don't know if you can actually buy this for a Mac. I checked out the website. I didn't see a download for the trial. I couldn't find a Mac version anywhere, so it's looking like it's PC only. What about free stuff? We demand free stuff, Brad. All right, fine. There are two apps out there, and the first of them is called Inkscape. It's kind of like the GIMP of vector apps. That's probably totally unfair to say, but if you've heard of a free vector app out there, you've probably heard of Inkscape. Now, if you're on a Mac, it requires X11 so I'm pretty sure that means Inkscape was designed in Unix and what it needs is this X11 program to run properly on a Mac. Probably a lot more complicated than that, but I'm all about drawing lines, not using the command line. Oh, that was awful. I have to edit that out. Inkscape has all your core vector drawing tools in here. Pen tool works fine. You can draw in your shapes. You've got a lot of path like dividing and adding options. The app itself doesn't feel very streamlined out of the box. You have to fiddle with a lot of the settings and I spent a lot of time actually Googling things that I wanted to do. For example, I would draw with the stroke with the pencil tool, and it's like this crazy jaggy line. There are settings to smooth it out, but you gotta know where to look and you gotta know how to adjust that sort of thing. And as I used the app more and more, it seemed like I just spent a lot of my time just looking up how to do basic things. But if you're looking for something free that checks all the boxes, Inkscape will do it for you. The other app I wanna look at is called Gravit Designer. It's purple, but once you get past that, it's a cool little app. If you're trying to decide between Inkscape or this, I would probably start here. It just feels a lot more streamlined. One thing worth mentioning is that the app has a lot of vector tools, but it feels more like a design tool, like for layouts and compositions and UI, that sort of thing. Running through the tutorials, it seems to really back that up, and that's the audience that they were going for. For example, every time you draw a shape, it becomes its own layer. This reminds me a lot of a Mac app called Sketch. I like doing layouts and UI that way, but I don't like to draw that way. When I'm drawing, I have a lot of paths, especially if I'm like inking or hatching, cross hatching. Uh, with my artwork, the layers get really unwieldy really fast, and it's hard to actually use 
a really cluttered layer palette like that. I think if you're drawing just like icons, simple stuff UI, it's great for that. I should also point out since I mentioned Sketch that I'm not including this on this list, mostly because I just don't think it's an Illustrator replacement. It has some vector tools, it has some stuff there, but it's not really built for illustration. So for now, keeping it off the list. I think Gravit Designer is like right on the edge. It lives somewhere in between Adobe Illustrator and Sketch. And since it's free, that got it a spot on this list. So there we go, those are the programs that I think best replicate Illustrator. Let me know if I missed any, or also let me know which one's your favorite and let me know why. That's all I've got for this week. I'll see you guys later.